All right. Well, um, Twitch is going to uh, get back in contact with Mr. Monday if she can. She certainly can. Hey, I managed to find a dossier on one of the uh, individuals who was on that plane. Uh, I think that it's her family who's uh, currently of interest to me. Um, might have I sent it your way, and do you see if you can dig anything up on them? I'll uh, see what I can do. Um... Not asking for a miracle. And uh, Twitch will send it his way. Well, uh, you'll get back that he did already check out some information for uh, this for you. Um, I believe uh, I sent you the information of her father. Yep. Um, I'm checking his... Yeah. I'll go ahead and resend that in just a second. That said, the information he'll send you won't be worth much more, won't be much more information than you already had. It's just, uh, really just confirmation information of who her father is. Interesting. I think it's possible that uh, the comlink she had hidden in her hand is... Uh, it was in her hand, right? Uh, yes, the... No, the comlink was one that was installed in her. She had a hand in addition to the comlink. Okay. Do you think that uh, we might still be able to track her by the hidden comlink? I doubt it. I mean, it's probably been disabled. Um, when you dropped her off, the Johnson pretty much immediately disabled it. Okay. It still seems like our best bet to find out where she is is through the Johnson, but we still don't know where he is. Hmm. Nope. Well, um... Twitch will, uh... Yeah, Twitch will uh, send the uh, dossier the uh, way of um, Coyote and uh, Truthsayer. That is Garowin's uh, dossier. And uh, the only thing worth Noting is you can confirm that he's married and that Karina Kohler is the uh, product of an extramarital affair. I think that also confirms that the stocky dwarf we saw was not in fact her father. But it does confirm that she does have a brother, or at least a half-brother, by the name of Conrad. 
And yeah, you'll be able to look up some pictures of Conrad at some point and see, yeah, that is the same Conrad. You'll I'll also give you a few more details that aren't in dossiers. The stocky dwarf is Gavin McKay, who is Karina's uncle, his sister being the late Katarina McKay. Um, Katarina died giving birth. Uh, on, you can't find the details on it, but it was complications due to uh, birth. Or from the birth. Um... The other two individuals there the uh, thoughtful looking dwarf is uh was Velsomi's uh daughter from before she was married. Um so she's not related to either Conrad or Karina, um, although she is sort of a, a stepsister of them. And the Dwarven Beauty uh, is actually Conrad's fiancée, uh, Juliette Fontaine. No, that is, that is some useful information. So we have their names now, right? Yeah, if you mouse over them now, it should actually display their names rather than just generic description. Hmm. Twitch, do you think you Twitch, do you think you get into contact with someone to see if they can find anyone by these names? I could ask my cousin, but these don't seem like the kind of people he'd run around with. Uh the best I can do is try and get a hacker on it, but I don't even know what they would do. One thing I do wanna mention is that all of this family was pretty much in uh, Germany, uh, let's see, Germany and Scandinavia. That's the region they lived in and moved around in. Um, so, European. Meaning, most of your contacts will have very little worthwhile information on them, except for, you know, hackers who are sort of uh, more prone to international things. Well, do you know any hackers? Yeah, I guess I do. And uh, one last person worth mentioning would be Karina's stepmother, um, the her father's wife. Uh, she was born in eighteen. Um, she was awoken in. Uh, 36 and had her daughter at that age uh, so she was 18 when she had her daughter uh, Signe which mind you that's 18 and she's a dwarf so a little bit younger than that um, she so married, she was like 12 uh, rough estimatable age is 15 14 to 15 ish um, the exact details of that's all it looks like it's been covered up and you can't find much uh, just looking around um, 
and she was married to Gregory and Kohler. This is, mind you, all information uh, Mr. Monday's pulling up for you. Um, so they were married in 39. Uh, she's awakened. You knew that already. And uh, she has significant cybernetic work. Um, entire torso from mid-body down is completely replaced. And it has been like that for quite some time. Yikes. So she's awakened and she has cyber medics? Interesting. So what do we do with this information? No idea. I mean, we could use it to antagonize Conrad, but that'll do pretty much the exact opposite thing we want, right? Maybe. I mean, if we get them to uh, get sloppy, we uh, might be able to take them out, but... Uh... I don't know. Uh, with the type of uh, precision and uh, firepower they're uh, bringing to bear, that might not be a good idea either. Um, let's see. He offered you 20,000 and they stopped chasing us down for completion, right? Something like that. Well, if we can point them towards uh, Horizon or wherever the Johnson was working, maybe we can uh, negotiate that into just them leaving us alone. Maybe? They seem know, like give they them a different lead. Just give them a different lead to follow. Make it so that uh, we're not worth their time anymore. Know what I mean? They seem like the kind of group that expects results, and if you don't give them the results they want, they dispose of you. Yeah, not surprising considering the company. I don't know, maybe uh, Coyote and uh, Truthsayer might have uh, better ideas. Maybe. You want to get them involved in a call, or you want to meet together face-to-face, -to -face because... Um, as long as we uh, keep from uh, talking about anything too sensitive, it, uh, it shouldn't be a problem if they're overhearing our calls. I guess. Pick up the phone, motherfucker. Hello, someone hello. hacked. Someone hacked into my comm link and changed my goddamn ringtone. This is terrible. <laughs> you know, busy uh, now just reading these new dossiers. I guess that was interesting. Yeah, well, you know, it was involved. Hmm? Nah, yeah, sure. Trusero will pick up the phone. Why not? All right, we're on the line. Uh, what what's going on? What'd you find down at the warehouse? Did you get the comm link? I guess you did. Yeah, it mostly just had out. that dossier in it. It was hidden in a wall. Oh, how big is it? Smaller than a thumb. Fuck. And it looks like the hole in the wall was made just to fit it. Like... Huh. Well... 
Well, in that case, the only person I can think of who would have put it there was the, obviously the Johnson wouldn't have, the damn shapeshifter would have, but. Uh, uh, yeah, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, trying to figure out where we should go from here. Um, considering trying to uh, negotiate with the dwarves, maybe offer them some kind of information to uh, get them to leave us alone without a payment. Yeah, good luck with that. I think they've got the screws to us, and they're going to uh, twist them and twist them until we do whatever they want, unless we get something on them. Well, hmm. I might have another idea, but I don't really want to talk about it over the phone. It's fair. You know, whether they might be listening in or not, few options. You have, you still have, as it was first presented back whenever Vice apparently got a visit from this Conrad to his mom, try to find the girl. You have, I'm not doing this dreck, and then just giving them the finger, or you have actively antagonizing these individuals further, who, since they were all so weak, they piled up bunches together, no matter how wonderful or professional they sound, all managed to go down rather easily. Folded like I'm a house on this one. of cards. True. They did sort of fall down like bitches. If they're going to uh, think they have enough material in any of these individuals to say, Oh, I'm going to persuade one of you by, by taking a shot at some person where she lives. Like, you can't move somewhere else. And, oh, you better get everyone on the team involved. Of course, they want everyone on the team involved because they want her. Doesn't really sound like they have a whole lot of leverage throwing that out there. I certainly don't feel screwed. And really, the concept of having to move somewhere else shouldn't be, shouldn't be nauseous to anyone here. No, it's not that. It's just if they've tracked us down once, uh, it seems likely they might again. And even though they went down like chumps the first time, uh, anyone goes down like a chump if you take them off guard. The um, whole lot of you will, at this moment, get a message from, well, Vice will recognize the uh, name, uh, or the addresses from Comrades Comlink. Um, the rest of you won't recognize it right off the bat. Uh, it's just a string of what seems to be random letters. Like going to do like what, smashing a keyboard or something. Truesayer is going to do what he does every time he receives random bullshit. He's going to delete the message. <laughs> uh, just some sort of like spam thing that got past the filter, whatever. <laughs> that Coyote is, is going that to turn off his comm link and delete the message. That's it. He's off the line. Well, that wasn't sort of out of the blue. That was more like text message just got sent to you sort of thing. It wasn't um, anything you don't normally get. Uh, it didn't really get so much past the fam spam filters. It wasn't something that your spam filters normally filter for. Filter out rent messages from unrecognized contacts that are nothing more than just... <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you get messages that are like that fairly often, I mean, 
encoded messages from people. And they, and they all auto open on my screen? <laughs> no, this one did not auto open. I was mentioning okay. if you open it. If you choose not to open it, you can just not see it. But no, it was just sort of like a, a normal email slash text message slash message from future comlink telephone computer message thing. Oh, right. in that case, uh, Coyote sends it to, I don't know, where every sends stuff to be checked for uh, viruses and that type of thing. And uh, he'll take whatever other people say... Uh, at face value, if they open it and tell them what it says. This could either be an encode. This is probably some sort of encoded message, but that's not my area of expertise, guys. Like I barely know how to work. Oh wait, you all things. just oh you all just received a message at the same time too. Yep. Just a random series of letters and numbers? Yeah. Yep. Um, well, I didn't exactly look at it, but I, I guess that could have been what it contained. To clarify, it was uh, essentially an email that was CC'd to you all. So uh, you all did see each other get it. Um, then you'll get a, another follow-up one saying, accident. Okay, time to decrypt it. Right, I mean, everyone's on the same page for this. Yeah, because Vice knows how to decrypt a command the, message like this. He's, he's all for it, you guys doing it. To clarify, it's only about 20 characters. It, it could also be a security key or any a number of other things. Yeah, it, it more... The thing it sort of strikes you as is someone hitting a keyboard. Um, or, well hitting the equivalent of a keyboard, sort of like running their finger along the screen where you type things. Twitch is still going to run it through her decryptor. Okay, go ahead and roll me, it would be your decrypt and, uh, I don't know what normally goes with decrypt. Uh, let well, I took cracking as a skill group, so... Well, it's something in there, I'm sure. Cool. Two dice. Yeah, it's electronic warfare and decryption is initiate cryptanalysis. <laughs> or cryptoanalysis, rather. Fuck yeah, I got a hit. You did? Well, then I must have got disconnected because I didn't see it. No, I don't see it either. Yeah. Neither do uh, I. You're probably going to get disconnected in a moment. Shit. Uh, so, how many hits was that? It was one hit on two dice. Oh, I see. I was in broadcast to self only for some reason. Your uh, macros earlier, maybe, and still kept that mode? Maybe. Maybe I got reset from when the server restarted? Yeah, when I restarted the server, I couldn't save. I'm sorry, okay. you may not have your macros. I didn't even think about that this time. But I could not save anything. I, I think that you got disconnected while it was saving, and it somehow fucked up the saving because it kept telling me it was auto-saving the entire time. Um, but uh, you have a cat decrypting software? Yep. Um... You did roll that too, right? Yeah. Uh, one die for the skill and one die for the decryption software. Ah, okay. Um, then you... Well, that would be... Yeah, it turns out to just... Your, your thing just sort of sits, spits it back out. It's like it's, it's just random junk. Alright, uh, my decryption software says it's random junk. Um, maybe they're having problems on their end. 
Regardless, um, I'm going to have my contacts try and track down this uh, number. And uh, Twitch is going to forward that number to uh, uh, Mr. Monday and see if uh, he can tell her where its point of origin is. He'll go ahead and get back to you on that. That's fine. So you're currently decrypting it, Aaron? No, no, I... Twitch tried to decrypt it and said, yeah, it says it's just random bullshit. And uh, maybe it means that uh, these guys are having problems on their end. Maybe, or maybe it was something else, we don't know. Yeah, with just a number like that, I believe it is uh, not possible for him to actually trace it. Uh, it gets routed through a central server, which he'd have to hack through, and that is at the major matrix level, which means it's protected by agents of God. All right, well, uh, Twitch will uh, say to uh, Vice, strictly off of any sort of uh, uh, call, maybe we can uh, lure them out by saying that we found her. Maybe we can, but also, on the other hand, they seem to also be following us and knowing what we're doing, so... It's fair. We would have to go through somewhere that they can't easily follow and monitor us if we were to do that. Maybe we could go to your safe house, go in, come out with a duffel bag full of nothing, drive back to the city instead of the meat. Kill them all. I guess that's, I guess that would could work. Obviously it's not the ideal solution, but uh, I'm running out of ideas here. And uh, this is the idea that I didn't want to talk to them about over the phone. Did you guys set up a physical meetup? Twitch and Vice, Vice are meet talking, so they can do that because they're standing face to face. Okay, so you're only saying this to Vice at the moment. Correct. Okay. Yep, that seems like it seems like an idea, but we need to talk to Coyote and uh, Truthsayer about it because although I know I know both of us can kick some ass there's a mage there's like that 
There's a mage amongst them. If not, a yeah, and I'd kind of like to have some drones to uh, throw them into the crossfire, you know?